We're going to do some spreadsheets in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to look at nested ifs. Before we get into nested ifs, let's just recap what an if is. Okay, so in Excel, we have an if statement. And the way it works is then you use an if statement if you have two different things that you want to display or calculate. So what we have is you have an if command function. And you open bracket and it takes in three parameters. The first parameter is the condition. It's a question that you ask. And that question must be able to be, you must be able to look at it and say, yes, that is true or no, it is false. So you can't just say greater than 40 because like what is greater than 40? You need to say like a cell is greater than 40 or a cell is equal to something or a value is, is not equal to something. So you're normally using your not equal to and your, um, your equal to, greater than, less than symbols in your condition. And you're comparing two things um, to say this is definitely true or it's definitely false. Then your second condition is going to be what will happen if the condition is true. If it's true, then you must only do this part of the if statement. In other words, this could be a piece of text that is going to be displayed if it's true, or it could be a calculation that gets done if this is true, so it's up to you. Then the third parameter after the if it's true is what must be done in the event the condition is false. So this will only be done if the condition is false. So if the condition is true, it'll jump to this part and then it'll only do that part. And if the condition is false, it'll jump to this part and only do that part. And that will be, again, text that must be displayed or a calculation that must be done in the event that it's false. So now that we know what an if statement is and we know that we use it to display two different things. What about this scenario? Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of people and they've got codes. And I want to write down what their type is based on their code. Now, if they're a P, they're a part-time. If they're E, they're employee. And if they're A, they're admin. See, this one's a little bit more tricky. We can't use an if statement here because there are three options. So that makes it a little bit more tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to use nested ifs. So let's pretend one of them doesn't exist. I'm going to scrap the admin. Let's just deal with these two for now. So we'll just one for now, actually. Just deal with one. So we're going to use our if statement like we know so we're going to use an if statement so over here we're just going to work out the admin or the the type the type for bruce so we're just looking at bruce for this example and when we copy it down it must work for all the other people so let's look at bruce equals if open bracket well we're going to check how do we know if they part-time employee ever we're looking at this code over here so if this cell b7 that b7 value is equal to a P, which we put in double quotes, because we, if it's equal to the text P, what do we want to display here? We want to display the word part-time. So I'm going to, in double quotes, say the word part-time. Okay. You could refer to this actual cell H1 if you wanted to, but I just want you to see visually what's actually happening here. So if B7 is a P, then display part-time. That's easy. But if it's not part-time, here's the problem. We've only got one thing left, and there are two possibilities. Two possible. What do we do if there's two? We use an if statement. So what I'm going to do here in the else, this, this, this false part, I'm going to put a brand new if statement inside here in the else, in the false part, for just these two scenarios. So forget about it. If we get to this part over here, if we get to the false part here, we know for a fact it's not part-time, so therefore it can only be employee or admin. So over here, we're going to put an if statement, a brand new one. This is the nested if, the if inside the if. So I call this the inner if. So now we're going to look at that code again. If that code, B7, is equal to an E, then what's the true value? It must be an employee. Employee. And if it's false, well, if it's if we get to this false, this is the inner if, we know that it's not part-time because it wouldn't have gotten to this part if it was part-time. We know that it's not employee because it's going to the, the false part here. So the only other possibility would be that it's an admin. So then, and here's the tricky part. Watch out. You close the bracket for the inner if, and you need another bracket for the outer if. So that, remember, there's two brackets, one for the inside if, one for the outside if. So if B7 is a P, display part-time. 
If it's not, then shift to this if statement, which says if it's an E, it's employee. And if it's not part-time and it's not employee, then the only other possibility is that it's admin. And if I copy that down, it should work for all the options. That's a way of displaying three possibilities. Easy. Okay, let's do another example. But in this case, we're dealing with numbers. Okay, so we want to say, okay, these guys have sold this many sales. And depending on how much they sold depends on their level. Okay, so yeah, we got anything 250 or less is bronze. Uh, between 250 and 600, I'm not including them, it's silver. And then 601 is gold. Okay, when you're dealing with numbers, this is my big tip. Ignore the middle one. Don't look at the middle one yet. It's easier if we just look at the top or the bottom one. Okay. I don't know if you that's the top one or that's the bottom one. Depends how you look at it. Okay, so ignore the middle criteria because to try to determine if the values between those two numbers is a little bit more complicated. It is possible, but we need to learn other functions for that. For now, with what we know. I just want to look at that option or that. So you tell me which one do you want to use. I think let's let's start with that one. Let's start with bronze. So again, there are three things to display. So we are using the nested if. So equals if open bracket. What's our test? We want to check for bronze. We know that if they get 250 or less, then they get bronze. So if the sales D7 is less than equal to 250. What's the result? It's going to be the word bronze. I'm going to type it in. I know you can refer to the actual cell, but I'm just going to say the word bronze so we can see it. So you could actually refer to K1 as the result for that. Okay. So if it's less than 250, including 250, say bronze. Now, if it's not bronze, then it must be one of these two options. So we are now going to use an if statement in here to cover the two options by itself. But remember my tip, ignore the middle one. So if we've done bronze and we're ignoring the middle one, that means we must do the gold one. Let's look at the gold one. How do I know if it's gold? If it's greater than 600, if the sales is greater than 600, then it's gold. Not including 600 because 600 is gold. So if the sales is greater than 600, then it is gold. We type in the word gold. Okay, and because there are only three options, if it's not bronze and it's not gold, the only other possibility is that it's silver. And this way we avoided having to put some sort of criteria or condition for, for that, for between 251. Like we've got it easily because it's what's left over. So remember, what do we do? We close the inner bracket, close the outer bracket. So if it's less than 250, it's bronze. If it's false, then if it's less than 250, that means it must be bigger than 250. So it's somewhere in this range. So therefore, we check if it's greater than 600, it's gold. If it's not greater than 600, then it must be silver because although it's less than 600, we only hear if it's greater than 250. So it must be in that range. And that is how you do a nested if. So if you are wanting to display three possibilities, they'll normally give it to you something like this in a table. Then you know you are using a nested if. First check your if you deal with numbers, don't do the middle one, pick the top one or the bottom one, check it and do what is needed for the first option. And then in your false part, you do an if statement, which covers the bottom to the next two options. But remember, avoid the middle one for your condition. Leave that as the, the, the else, the, the false part. Okay, that is a nested if. For other videos in the series on Excel, go to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, like, follow us on Twitter, subscribe, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.